Rhode Island real estate investing, man, it's it could be tough. It's tough. I want to show you an alternative. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the MLS Search and Analysis Show. You're watching Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, the man behind the camera, my brother, Steve Wise. What's up, everybody? All right, Steve, man. What do we got going on today, Steve? Let me tell you, Steve. We got uh, some investors out of Rhode Island, man. What do you know about Rhode Island, brother? Not much. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, let, here to find out. let me tell you what I know about Rhode Island, Steve. Rhode Island is tough, okay? I think it's a tough place. I mean, it's a nice place. It's great. Uh, but it's a tough place to be a real estate investor, in my opinion. And I think uh, my guy here, Lou... I think Lou and his wife share that opinion. Lou and Christina. Lou, man, you are a hard-working, blue-collar cat, dude. I love your story, bro. Uh, your wife is working at a college uh, as a custodian, and you uh, are working at a— well, you were working at a uh, fire mold restoration company for like 20 years, you said, and then you decided to buy that bad boy uh, a few years ago, and now you're the owner, man. Fuck yeah. Good job out of you, dude. Fucking— Round of applause. Hard working some bitch like you. Starts at the bottom, puts in his licks, gets to the top. Freaking A, man. Great job, bro. I love that. And uh, you're in Rhode Island, which is, in my opinion, a very expensive market and a very tough market because I know the regulations out there, in my opinion, is an overregulated market. It's, it's, you know, <clears throat> look, not to get into like a political rant, you know, I'm a conservative. Uh, mainly fiscal, right? Fiscal conservative, right? I don't want to really get into social issues. It's, I feel like I do what you got to do, but like talking about money, okay? I think I'm a fiscal conservative. I like as little government intervention as possible. And I, I, I think people run into a lot of red tape in, in, in Rhode Island. So that combined with the pricing, dude, I see why you're looking for an alternative, okay? And I think the Cleveland market could be a good alternative for you. You've done some investing out there, but you're looking to expand, but you want to do so in an easier and cheaper way, okay? And I think the property that I have for you today is going to allow you to do that. I've looked at this for uh, others, never did a deal on it. Uh, so first, I want you to take a look at the footage. Uh, with our investments, right? We've been working to get you guys through your 1031 exchange. And I'm just kind of scrolling through some of the photos. Uh, wide chat so you guys could take a look, right? This fully occupied duplex here, okay? A few things I want to talk about, want to point out, but, you know, I just wanted you guys to get some of the photos out of the way here. We have been working to uh, fulfill your 1031, right? You guys are trying to get $400,000 worth of real estate. We've been going... Uh, through a decent chunk of properties, doing due diligence on, on a lot of properties. And that's smart. That's what you got to do, right? You got to get the right property at the right price, okay? And uh, we just recently put uh, that quad in Lakewood under contract for you guys. So you guys got the quad under contract. We're uh, waiting on the inspections to go through right now. So my team is getting all of that stuff scheduled uh, with the sellers and the listing agents for you guys uh, for that. And then you guys had asked me to, to look at a few multi-family properties for you guys you guys are seeing if we can get a little bigger bang for the buck if we hit up some of those duplex units in some of the c-ish type neighborhoods right and that's why i pulled this one up right it's a it's a dated duplex okay uh as you've seen from some of the other photos and like the photo right here like it's nothing like extremely special like this is definitely a dated kitchen right so like at the next turnover of course you're going to want to give some love to that kitchen floor Right, you're gonna want to replace that with a newer vinyl floor, and then you know you would just do like normal turnover stuff, right? Painting the floors, the walls, refinishing the hardwoods, and then doing the kitchens and the baths. So you might be looking uh, at some decent cost on your turnover rentals just to upgrade the stuff. But the the bones of this are good, right? Like here is the one of the furnaces. This is a very Pretty new looking furnace, much newer uh, than what you usually see in these occupied duplexes, right? I would guesstimate this to be around five years old. They last about 30 years. They cost about $3,000, okay? And then 
this is something else I'd like to bring to your attention. Uh, both the floor and the walls. Now, this is what I would guesstimate to be an asbestos-based tiling, okay? Now, I know out in California, you hear the term asbestos-based tiling, and people freak out. It's like the end of the world. Not so much here in Ohio, right? Uh, it's dangerous, yes, if you're working with asbestos every day or like if you're like pulling these floors up every single day. Yes, that's dangerous. It's not illegal or dangerous to just have in a rental property, but I know it will get flagged on your inspection report. Uh, if the tiles ever started cracking, it became a hazard. We'd want to encapsulate it, uh, which would essentially, that's a fancy term for we would put a vinyl allure flooring over it, okay? And then the next thing I want to bring to your attention is these walls. Now, in Cleveland, in these basements, I never like to see people try to finish these. These basements, these are 100-year-old properties. We have a high water table here. The way they're built, it's very porous material that the, the structure was built off of. Some moisture gets in there, right? You don't usually see a lot of bone-dry basements here in the Cleveland market. So I'd probably like to see that eventually get uh, completely gutted out if the inspector notates any signs of moisture on the inspection report. As of right now, we do not know that. That'll be something we'd probably want to renegotiate after the inspection. But I wanted to go over that with you while we were talking. Here's your two hot water tanks. Both seem to be pretty shiny, pretty newish. I would guesstimate you're in the five to seven year range on those puppies, right? And then just more shots of the units, right? We already got tenants living here. You know, another, again, it's dated. So you're going to want to do some upgrading to the kitchens, right? Like the cabinetry here is fine. Like we wouldn't be replacing this. Probably wouldn't even be repainting it. Like all this is good, the backsplash. The only thing we'd probably need to do is maybe update the hardware, do the vinyl floor, and then, you know, with your repainting. But that would be at the next turnover. No telling when that would be. And I'm going to get into the rents here momentarily. Same deal with the baths, right? The baths are dated, okay? But as it sits right now, this thing is a cash cow, okay? In the neighborhood, it's uh, what I consider like a low C type neighborhood, low C. We're kind of like on the curve, like uh, kind of like Denison's here, Lorraine's here, and it kind of like on this side. Let me show you the map, actually. Like, I'll show you the map here. Give me one second, okay? Hey lenders, are you looking to be part of our referral program? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. <laughs> so, typically, like, I would say, you know, I would consider this area right here to be C. I would say this is like D. So, like, we're right there on the border, right here on the curve, right? So... You know, I think you're like a C minus D plus type neighborhood, okay? 3182 West 88th, Cleveland. That's the address. Now, <clears throat> with all the deficiencies that I mentioned on the property, okay, I do not think the property is worth what they're asking. 95900 I do think that is too high. But we can make some money here, right? Because those two tenants that are already in there, like I said, you don't have to worry about upgrading any of that stuff right now. There is tenants in there. And they're paying close to market. 600 650 so it brings in 1250 That's 15 Gs a year. Of the 15 Gs that comes in, I anticipate you spending a little over eight on average every year. Clearing you 66 12 in free cash flow. And then that does not calculate the approximately 2100 that I am saving for CapEx, which would be, you know, replacing the furnaces, the hot water tanks, the roofs. Uh, vacancy and non-payment, eventually the tenants won't pay. And then repairs and maintenance, which will go towards upgrading the kitchens and the baths uh, for when these tenants eventually move out, okay? So it can make some money, right? So with the fact that we have... 1250 coming in, decent chunk of money coming in, but we do have some dated units and we have pretty good mechanicals though. Updated electrical, newer looking furnace. I don't have a picture of the other furnace, so I'm guessing that one's probably older. That's probably towards the end of life, right? They just took picture of the newer one, but that's okay. Uh, hot water tanks in the mid mid range there. The roof that's older, right? That's that's probably in the last decade of its life expectancy. Uh, with all of that stuff said, okay, I would anticipate. Uh, the correct price for this property would be $80,000, right? So we're going to be asking for a $16,000 discount. Now, that would be us going in, getting under contract now for that eighty. dollars 
if after the inspection report uh, comes out, it turns out that there are some moisture issues in that basement, I'd want to renegotiate a few grand off. And then there is one other thing that caught my eye. Uh, this is a drop ceiling in the kitchen, right? I do not like to see drop ceilings uh, anywhere other than the basement. Usually they're hiding uh, some type of water issues, and I actually saw some staining on that drop ceiling in a closer photo. I'm trying to find it. Let me see if I can't find it. Ah, here we go. Here's another good shot, right? You see that? That's some water staining right here, okay? We got some water staining, so we definitely want... The inspector to look into that is that an active leak is it an old leak i don't know right you can see it again in this picture okay so we have some water staining evidence in the two kitchens right so i think 80k would be the appropriate price to go under contract have our inspector get in there to do some more due diligence if the basement turns out to, to be what i would anticipate a lot of these basements are where there is some water issues there is some mold in those walls in those in those paneling down there in that basement what we would want to do would be to gut it out get rid of the drop ceiling down in the basement gut out those uh, paneled walls in the basement I am not worried about that asbestos flooring I know that's gonna get flagged on the inspection report but I want you guys to know my thoughts I don't think that's an issue I'm more worried about the mold on the walls those two items and then if the inspector determines that upstairs where we have the water staining there's still active leaks I would like to go back to the sellers to try to renegotiate right to go in and gut out that basement and then dry lock it we're probably looking at like a cost of like five five six k okay and then probably a few k in regards to the the water issues uh in each of the the kitchens i'm not exactly sure what's going on uh or then the one kitchen rather in the one kitchen right i i have evidence it appears there's two pictures but it appears to be the same kitchen if that's like the downstairs unit it's probably water leaking from uh the kitchen upstairs which would be an easier fix if it turns out that's the upstairs unit and it's coming from the roof right then we have a, a bigger issue but the inspector will have to look at that roof look at those kitchens and see if there's water issues in the basement. If that happens, I want to go back to these folks and renegotiate, right? So that might take us down into the sixty-five dollars to $70,000 range, worst case scenario, I would imagine. But as of right now, I think eighty is a fair starting point to go under contract and continue doing more due diligence. I mean, it's also very possible they fixed all the leaks, okay? And it's very possible that there isn't water damage in that basement mold in that basement but we have to determine that for ourselves right we can't just take their words for it right so as of right now where we're at eighty thousand dollars with the current tenants it's an eight three cap you finance it it's a 17.9 percent cash on cash return all right lou so that was my thoughts on this when i originally looked at it now i have a long history with this property uh gone back and forth negotiating um and I was able to get the seller all the way down to 83K, all right? My uh, <clears throat> buyers on that deal did not want to do that deal at 83K. Uh, so 83 is the lowest I can get the sellers down to. And in my opinion, from where I'm standing right now today, uh, a little while removed from my original analysis of the property. I think it makes a lot of sense at 83K. Here in the Cleveland market, the pricing is going up. Not Rhode Island high, but it's going up and inventory is going down. Okay, so in my opinion, 83 for this thing is uh, comparatively one heck of a deal. And I think it would be a solid move for you because you got 80K in cash. You don't need to use very much of that cash so we could knock this deal down with traditional financing and move towards some other properties which i'm going to show you right now thanks for watching subscribe to holton wise tv for more financial information education and entertainment